Do you ever wonder why some sales reps close only mini deals, while some others close a hundred times bigger deals, working for the same company selling exact same product? One of the biggest reasons for this is they don't truly know their customer, they don't understand their business challenges, so they are not able to pitch the product within that context. Watch this video to learn how to change this starting from your next sales call. Hi, my name is Sasha and I work for a leading cloud software company. Click on the like button below this video and subscribe to my channel to learn how to get better at selling enterprise software and never miss videos like what does a sales engineer do? Are you making shortcuts, skipping steps in your sales process? Are you selling the solutions to customer business challenges or features and functions of your software? What is the difference? One simple example. Do you buy chocolate because of its shape or color? Or you buy chocolate because it gives you pleasure eating it? You're buying the value, you're buying the benefit you get from chocolate. It's the same with our customers. They're not buying the software, they're buying the benefit they get from that software. And if you're not able to explain the benefit they will be getting from your software, they will not be able to appreciate the value of that software. How do we get from selling features and functions of the software to selling value? Or in a car example, how do you go from selling cars features like gas mileage to selling the value, the benefit that the buyer will get from that car? It's pretty obvious. You need to know which life challenges is the buyer of the car looking to solve. Are they looking to buy a second family car so they can do school runs or they are buying a convertible to have fun on weekends? You don't know until you ask. And that's exactly what you have to do. This step in the sales process is called discovery. Rearrange them! Staying on pace, running the race, life is a chase. Discovery is an investigation of your customer situation. It's not selling. This is a conversation you want to have early on before you dive deeper into your software's features, run demos, or run solution assessments. It's important to understand and verify the customer's challenges, the customer's pain, then you will have the customer's full attention when you start pitching the product within the context of solving that pain. So what are the questions that we typically ask in a discovery call? Why do they think something is a problem? Why is it happening? When and how often is it happening? What are they doing about it? Who is affected by this? Who is held responsible for this or who will profit by solving this? How does the current process and system architecture look like? Who else is involved? How are other parts of the company affected by this problem? What is the negative business impact on the company? What is the desired business outcome? With these questions answered, you'll get a rough picture of your customer situation. You'll know which persons are involved, whose neck is on the line, who can profit, how does the current system look like, what are the pain points, what are the things that they like, what is the negative business outcome for the company, what is the positive business outcome for the company, should this problem be solved. So then you have a framework, you have the information that you need in order to have a much better control of this opportunity, you're able to qualify it much better, you're able to quantify it much better, you can put a price tag on the customer's pain. Then you're now able to pitch the value of the product because now you know in which context you have to do this. And finally, you're able to forecast, so everybody trusts your forecast. And now suddenly you're not selling features and functions of your product only, you're selling the value, the benefit that your customer will get from your software. And all it took was this one little step, this discovery call or meeting that you want to do early on. Start doing this from today. Click on the like button and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching, stay healthy and stay tuned.